The idea of web scraping is quite popular as it can easily help anyone extract valuable data from websites for tasks like market research, AI training, or even competitive analysis. There's so many different possibilities and this is why today I will showcase how you can easily automate data extraction and data collection that's powered by AI, which will save you so much more time and enable large scale insights from the data that you extract with the web scraper. We'll be using three handy tools, Crawl for AI, DeepSeek, and even Grok, all completely for free and open source. Crawl for AI is an open source large language model web crawler, as well as a scraper that's built to create smart, concise, markdown optimized output. It also outputs different types of formats like JSON as well as HTML, which could be fed and built for large language models. It's super fast where it can deliver results six times faster with real-time cost-efficient performance. It's flexible for different browsers. You can actually configure the browser config so that it could be basically uh, extracting the different sorts of content for different browser types like Chrome or even something like Microsoft Edge. And you can even configure things like bypassing cookies as well as captchas. It's open source, meaning that it's completely for free. And you can even have it so that it could use asynchronous or synchronous modes to collect your data. Then we have Grok. And essentially, we're going to be getting a free API from Grok so that we can use their DeepSeek R1 model that's distilled. But essentially, we're going to be using the fast inference speed to get us the content. And to test out its speeds, I can just simply say hi, and you can see how fast it's going to be able to generate an answer for you, which is why we're going to be using it for web crawling. And then lastly, we're going to be using the DeepSeek R1 model, which is a new open source reasoning focused large language model. And it's something that is basically on par in terms of achieving performance that's comparable to OpenAI's O1 model where it can even outpace GPT-4 Omni and almost every benchmark as well as Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And essentially by combining all three of these tools, we're gonna to be able to efficiently and effectively web scrape anything. Now to make this all make sense, imagine this scenario where you just started a marketing agency. And obviously to get more clients, you're gonna to need to find more leads. Now to find more leads, you would obviously want to have a list of multiple different companies to reach out to. But how would you even strategically do this? You would need to have a specific niche to target and you would want to have a scraper to find multiple leads rather than you going on Google and finding different businesses. And that's essentially what we're going to be doing with this case scenario where we're going to go ahead over to open care which is just an example list of different dentistries that are available in new york city and essentially you can see that there's so many different dentistries that you can reach out to but to manually reach out to all of these different dentistries it's going to be pretty hard so we're going to have the web scraper go ahead and collect the address the dentistry and how we can reach out to them and then what you can do is go over to something like spreadsheets and you can go ahead and import the data that you had extracted from the website and you can go ahead and upload that data. So now that I have imported the data, you can then also go ahead and click on format and then you can convert the table to this structured data. So essentially you can see that I was able to get the different clinics around five of them. I got the addresses, the ratings, as well as the descriptions all thanks to the web scraping. And this is what I'm gonna be teaching you throughout today's video. So let's get started now. I'm gonna leave the source code in the description below on my website and you can go over to this link and you can simply go ahead and click on find source code here, which will take you to this GitHub repository. Before we even get to this, we need to make sure we fulfill the prerequisites. First things first, you need to make sure that you have Python installed as your programming language. You're gonna to need to have Git installed to clone the repository, Conda to activate, the virtual environment as well as pip and once you have these prerequisites fulfilled we can then get started head over to the repository that i had linked within my website go ahead to the top click on this green button and copy this link to your clipboard and what i want you guys to do is head over to your command prompt and type in git clone and then paste in the link and click enter this will clone the source code and once you have typed in cd and the name of this web crawler 
we're going to then go ahead and we're going to start off by creating our, and as well as activating our environment so we're going to go ahead and use conda to create this web environment once that is done we're going to go ahead and activate that conda environment so once this is done i can go ahead and then activate it and once it has finished activating we're going to go ahead and install the dependencies with the pip install command next up you'll need a code editor in my opinion i'm going to be using visual studio code because it's going to be the best for this particular use case because you're going to be needing to create your environment variable file so once it has created and installed all the different uh, requirements we can then open up the folder that we just cloned the DeepSeek ai web crawler to do so just click on file click on open folder and just simply go ahead and find where you had cloned it in my case i had it within this file so i opened it up i went over to the environment variable file i'm going to go ahead and right click on this click on rename take out the dot example and once that is done we're going to go ahead and paste in our grok api so to get this you can head over to grok cloud once you have created an account completely for free head over to api settings or the api keys section and click on create api key so I'm going to go ahead and create one and then we're going to go ahead and paste it into our, our environment variable file. So we can go ahead and paste this in. Once that is done, click on file and just simply click on save. Now let me just showcase how you can easily get started. Now what you want to do is first create your own crawler with the generator. This is a generator that won't require any sort of code. You can simply go ahead and run this so that you can work alongside the generator to build out any sort of config file. So you can see that if you send this in, obviously you're not going to be able to see the emojis because we're on the command prompt. You can have a better view of it if you are on VS Code. In this case, you can provide any sort of configuration name. I can say YouTube title, and then you can go ahead and provide a target URL. And once you have provided that, you need to then provide the CSS selector for items, which is pretty important. And I actually have a guide within the repository to explore this. And if you need more help, you can obviously watch more YouTube videos online, which showcase how you can find the SSS or CSS selector. But then you would need to define the fields for extracting each item, like the title, the price, the views, or whatnot. And then once you have provided something, let's just say price we're going to then go ahead and add additional optional fields if you want uh, but if not you can then go ahead and then add other sorts of settings for the crawler like multi-page crawling or you can have it so that there are a certain amount of pages you can configure all of these settings further i know i restricted it to only five but you can go further into the settings and add further details you can add a headless mode, you can also add logging, and you can even provide further LM configuration where you can add custom instructions. And once that is done, you can see that this is now saved within your config file. So you'll see that this is the configuration that you can use to run your crawler. And then it will showcase how you can run this by going ahead and running the Python config file plus the name of what you set it before. So which was YouTube, I believe. And then you can then run this and then it will go ahead and scrape that based off of the configurations you'd set with the generator and to run different crawlers that you had created in this case you can see i have a test one an e-commerce one a news one a job one for real estate you can then go ahead and then run the python main.py dash dash config and the name of the crawler you created so let's actually go ahead and run this so you get a better idea but let's go over to our terminal and then we can go ahead and paste this in and then it will ask you to enter the website url so let's go ahead and paste in something so there we go i have now pasted in this link we're going to click enter enter the css selector for items but this is just a generator that can easily set this up without any sort of code so it saves you a lot of time and this was something that i wanted to do because i know no one else teaches anyone how to set this up so for beginners it's easy for you to set this all up then after it will ask you crawler settings so you can enable multi-page scraping so that it can access multiple pages and then you can also run the browser in a headless mode so you can have this as no if you want to visualize what's happening and then you can also have it so that it details the logs so i click yes for that 
and then you can customize how the AI extracts information from the website. Enter specific instructions such as extracting phone numbers in this format. And in our case, we're just going to go ahead and have it extract uh, mainly the description because that's something that I want to figure out as well as the email address. And then you can go ahead and click enter twice and then enter the name for the configuration. So we can go ahead and just name this dental and then say click, we can go ahead and click enter and you can see that it has now created the config file and we can go ahead and then run this file afterwards so now you can see that my dental configuration over here is set now after creating it with the create config file and you can see that it's going to be able to extract certain things like the title description uh, the rating as well as the location and this was all created by the config generator and if i want now i can go over to the terminal click on new terminal and then i can go ahead and run this python script and there you go you have this uh, python script now running and it's going to extract and once it's finished i'll be right back so it has now saved it as a csv file and you can now see that the five contents for different clinics have been saved the address ratings as well as the description of the clinic and that's essentially how i created my own scraping agent with the DeepSeek uh, API for particularly scraping dental clinics based off of the content I had provided to the generator. Now in this readme file, I have all the configurations as I showcase the quick start method, uh, as you can also run different templates, but there's also a manual configuration where you can go ahead and create this within this config.py file and you can just name your own configuration for another preset. Now let me show you another example. This is where within my config file I had created another configuration and essentially the most important thing with the configuration that you create with the generator is that you provide the right CSS structure so that it's able to get you the right extraction and essentially I have it so that it's going to go over to extract World of AI's latest YouTube videos. The CSS selector is going to be the rich item render, the views, as well as the title. And then you can see the configuration I have set for this. So now let's go ahead and run this terminal. So we're going to go ahead and run this by running the config uh, YouTube uh, uh, the configuration. And you can see that it's going to go ahead now and scrape this website it went to the latest videos and you can see in the back end that it is running it is going on scraping the latest videos and i already ran it ran a test to find different items for the latest videos so you can see that the crawling is now done and since i already have saved it within this item file you can see that it was able to find the most latest videos and it was able to extract the date as well as the amount of views which is over here now, obviously, you can structure this better by configuring this within the config tab. It's all about you learning how to configure. And one really helpful tip, if you do not know how to code, is use something like Roo code. I believe this is where you can ask it questions. So if you have any sort of error with something not working, you can go ahead and ask Roo code. Uh, my crawler isn't actually functioning as it should be. Can you please assist me on what I can do to fix it? But essentially, you shouldn't run into any problems as long as you set the right SSS selector. And I actually have a full-on guide within my repository, which explains almost everything. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at this. And I'll leave a link to this in the description below so that you can easily get started. Lastly, within the config file, you can see all the different configurations I've had for different crawlers. But say for this YouTube one, I want to have it so that it is going to extract it through multiple pages you can have it so that this is set to true and then you can also set different instructions like output as a different format and this crawler will be able to output it based off of that and like i said before make sure you use something like line or root code to help you if you're facing any sort of issues and that's basically it for today's video guys make sure you take a look at the source code with the link in the description below to my website so that you can access this i'll leave all these links in the description below as well Follow me on the Patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news, as well as my Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.